Hello, lovely people. It's me. It's been a while. Like about, um, let me count. Eight months-ish? Yeah, I think it's eight months. Months. Yeah. Anyway, um, life got a bit in the way and there were some health issues that needed to be resolved. So here I am. Yay! They're kind of resolved, so that's good. Um, and one of the last videos that I made, I think, was about the books, well, notebooks, planners, things uh, that I was using at that time, um, which was a planner, something for my YouTube, this is for my life binder, and this is my actual journal that's almost, almost finished. Um, this one is my spiritual one, uh, which I have been using over the last two years. So that one just keeps on moving, you know, if there's something spiritual going on, that's where I go. Um, I won't do any flip through things of that because that's personal. Uh, but anyway, yeah, this is the spiritual binder thing where I working uh all the stuff that i spiritually do <laughs> uh, that sounds weird but <clears throat> anyway youtube one i have worked in this one a bit but mostly i've noticed that i've put everything into this one this is a belief notebook uh not sure if you can see that but it's kind of hard but yeah it says belief here um so yeah um i've been using this one a little bit but not that much because youtube wasn't really on my mind well it was on my mind but i just didn't have the energy or the you know yeah, basically just the energy for it. So I haven't really done a lot with this one. It's made with love. Um, it is actually a weird size because um, it's the size of A5 height-wise, but it's personal here. So it's like, hmm? uh, yeah, anyway, so that's that one. Um, because I've started uh, with YouTube ideas again, it will be not as much as in use because I have a totally different idea, which I will continue in a bit. Uh, but yeah, this is the YouTube um, and also the ideas that I had for a podcast and some ideas that I had for blog stuff because I started blogging again as well. Um, so yeah, so that is normally the thing that should have gone in there but eventually ended up in this one um apparently i'm more of a one book girl than i thought um let's put this to the side this one is my life binder uh it's basically categories of your life i've narrowed mine down to six so that everything would fit into six because six is you know way more than you know because the thing is for me uh with different categories i want to use different colors and 10 colors is a lot i did find uh a set with uh friction what are they called friction highlighters six colors um which fit perfectly but i need to reset that system because because of all the health stuff that has been going on um everything is kind of a mess well not completely a mess but there's certain things that i really need to uh like some decluttering and, and organizing that i really need to focus a bit more on so i will have to reset that system a bit so that i can actually get more stuff done but yeah um because i i even made them into their own little little cards here of uh, the colors that I used 
but I might have to uh, reset that thing a bit. But it's the same like, um, you know, a life wheel thing or uh, Mac Maxi, Moxie, life uh, has like the 10 things, or is it 8 things? No, they have 8. And then there's also uh, Daily Greatness. Uh, they, I think we have 10 categories. Um, anyway, more on that in just a little bit. So I'll put that on off to the side. Next, we have my planner. This is the German version. It's the Liebenkumpels. Uh, it started in, is it July? Yeah, July in 22. Um, I'm not quite sure what this is doing here, but all right. Uh, I did use a few, some things I didn't use. This is supposed to be a tracker, but I, no, that was not for me. So apparently these kind of things, I mean, I like them, but apparently I don't use them. Okay. Um, it's, I don't know. I think if I would have copied it, I probably would have used it. I, these are translations, by the way, because this is all in German. Uh, so I translated it to English. Um, there's a new overview. Oh, there's even an overview for 2024. So, you know, about mindfulness and things like that. But as you can see here, for example, I did put, you know, I did, this is the monthly planning, which I used. Uh, I only bought the planner in August last year. Yeah, I think I bought it in August last year. So I used these pages basically for other notes. Okay, so where did I actually start using? Was it here? Because I see YouTube videos. Last year, oops, nope. Apparently, I didn't start using it. Where did I buy this planner? Uh, ah, it must have been September then, maybe. Yeah. Because apparently... Yeah, I started using this one in uh, September. I'm just, you know, some... Yeah. And... I don't know why, but for me... The horizontal doesn't really work. I really try to. Seriously, I really try to. Um, and I basically start, started using it in columns. So this, for example, was more uh, social researchy type. And these are like uh, to do's. And this is more like physical or mental. So I try to put everything more like in categories which I did for a bit and then over here I had to change it up because you know with a layout I didn't really use the habits though uh, I actually showed lots of stuff over here but yeah I, I, I used it for and then I got sick because I had a bronchitis. Mm. But I started to notice that, see? I, I just started to lose the energy or something just didn't sit quite right, apparently, for the weekly. So I only started using the monthlies. It is a whole book just monthlies and all the rest I tried to use but apparently you know, just didn't happen the only things that I did use was the monthlies I found it a bit silly just using monthlies for you know this whole book so I eventually after deliberating with myself I was like yeah okay if I only use the monthlies um, because I did the weeklies also in this one, basically. Uh, I might have to zoom in a bit, because 
This is quite tiny. This is a B6. It's not an A6. Well, it's between a B6 and an A6. Uh, let me put... Can I put this one? I'll put this one over there. Let me do a little zoomies. If I still can. Nope. Apparently I can't. Well. Okay. Let me try to... Lower you a little bit slowly so we don't get seasick. Uh, is it gonna work? Okay, that should be it ish. Yes, little bookmarks here. So, this, like it is right now, this is actually how I've been using it. So, what that means is I put everything in one notebook. It has about 500 and no 450 pages ish so um i clipped these because i could attach a full color big pen and i have some stuff here you know on the inside and that way it doesn't fly away whenever i want it and i started this one on 22nd of July 2022 and today we are the 15th of August 23 anyway I always do like a little colorful thingy here I do a welcome page let's put it that way I put a welcome page in my journal and then I just start journaling which is mostly just I mean see seriously such tiny writing please uh, and the tabs here on the side that you can see here, most of those are weeklies, except this one. It's not a colored tab. Well, and where is it? There's another one. Anyway, there's a few on here that are not weekly tabs. I didn't quite. Yeah, this one is. Yeah, because it has a. Oh, it's about, you know, making my own kind of like prompt journal thing workbook that I wanted to make. Um is this a special one? I'm not sure. Nope, oh, that's not a special one. Where are the other special ones? Ah, this one is a special one, I think. No it's not. Okay, so apparently my own code for special things is uh, I have here one for arty stuff and then the one that I already showed you. Then I was like, yeah, this is this is not working. So I then I started to use this tab, this uh, not tab, bookmark for two lists that I need. Well, I made lists so I could do specific projects. Uh, I haven't finished those projects yet. It's an ongoing thing. Um, and then over here, I also have some special tabs. For um, this one, what is this one again? Let me see. This one is for this one is for ah, it was a very big to do list uh, to do with money stuffs and all that kind of thing. Uh, and then I also have one over here, which is ah, restarting my blog, which I did, and it was my uh topic for well topic it was my project for NaNoWriMo Camp NaNoWriMo July uh, which I actually finished and won yay and then I also have for example a tab with blog posts I've got several that are actually in the works uh, that I still need to edit and uh, as you have noticed uh, there's also tabs here which are for the, these are for the monthly spreads. At first I was like, I don't think this is going to work. Uh, because, you know, this book is way too small. But actually, as you can see, it does work. It's tiny. I agree. But I can write very tiny, so... Yeah. Um, yeah. And then this was August. For the July one, I did kind of like a test because we were already, like, over here-ish. I was like, hmm... Should this work? Will this not work? I'm not sure. Is it too tiny? But I even had some space for notes, which was kind of cool. Uh, so yeah, 
and this is so basically I could put everything that I wanted into one book I didn't need another book anymore except this is an example of a weekly uh, these are just notes more notes lots of notes etc um, I've also done some art in here if I can only find well, this was more like intuitive things <laughs> uh, this is more like you know intuitive expression very fast uh, this for example was something different the end result was a s totally not what is in here the end result was just like a mountain with the play of the sun on there and in the sea uh, but yeah, I've been working in this one for quite a while, for more than a year. Uh, I have anything other. Sometimes I write very, very big because I'm in a hurry. Ah, this one for anything. But um, I do like this one. I only spend first twenty minutes, and then I spend another I don't know hour. Just, you know, making sure that everything is a bit more noticeable. And even, I even put some... I'm not sure if you can see it. I even put some stars in there. So you could actually see, you know, that the sun was setting and then, you know. It was a fun exercise. Uh, this one was a five minute one. This one was a ten minute one. And I do these in... Uh, I do this kind of stuff in class. I love it room as well. Uh, I will make sure to leave links to the stuff that I've, you know, been talking about because now I'll have to go through every, you know, but I will, I will try to uh, leave links. Uh, it's uh, the Patreon of Romney's Realm. That's, you know, on Saturdays is Art Club. Uh, so, yeah. And that's the things that I do there. See, so, yeah, I don't even really take a lot of... I'm quite proud of this one actually because I actually made sure that there's a highlight in there. Yay! So I did a one minute very fast sketchy thing uh, and then I came back to it afterwards to uh, do some more details. That's not too bad. This one was also a one minute one, which was also totally undistinguishable until I started putting some more uh, details and, 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 you know, a little bit more of, so this was clear and, and otherwise it was just like some something oval, just oval and sticks. That was all you could see, basically. Was, this one was a three minute and I didn't actually do anything about that one anymore. Just a guy with his dog. In a boat, we'll see, uh, or in some lake or whatever. I'm not really sure anymore. Uh, this was a five-minute one, and this was a ten-minute one. It was the first time I actually did a boat like this because I don't have enough. Um, I can draw if I want to, but it's more my way. Uh, I wouldn't call it like realistic or whatever because I'm not really that realistic. Oh, I'm quite proud of my shark, though. First time I've, I did a shark, and... Yeah. It was not too bad. This apple... Was it pineapple fish? Yeah, that was a bit different. Because I forgot to put his fin in, and then I tried to put it in afterwards, but that didn't quite work, did it? <laughs> so yeah, anyway. Uh, I only have like 30 pages left, which for me is... Not a lot. And I've started designing and brainstorming about what kind of journal that I was going to use next. Because I'm actually uh, very excited in a way to start a new journal. But I promised myself that I couldn't start the new journal until uh, I have did a video. Which I'm doing right now. Wow, we're all went um, mm, almost 20 minutes. Okay. Anyway, so, that's that, Tabby's here, Tabby's there, this has been my companion.
and I just put my little ball crimp in here and it's ready to go to go on the journal with me. So what I'm going to use for my next journal, I have more of these journals, but I'm going to try something different. This is the second one that I'm going to have finished in because the previous year I also finished one of these. There was a disturbance in the force. I apologize. Where was I? All right. So I finished. I uh, haven't finished, but almost finished this belief notebook. And uh, the next journal that I want to, well, journal notebook that I want to use is the Mosk and Expanded. Mm, it has 400 pages. Um, I broke the spine already uh, because I know. It's the same that I did with this one, by the way. Um, you can actually see a little bit. I'm not sure if you can see this here. Uh, so I've actually broken the spine. But the book is holding up beautifully. I mean, nothing is tearing or anything. It's just basic what I do for making sure that the spine, that the book lays flat, is I go basically, you know, when I'm watching a YouTube video or whatever, I basically just make sure that I go through every page, which is actually what I did with this one. I started from the middle and then I went on to the left side and then I went to the right side. Um, but basically that's, you know, all that I've uh, been doing with the moleskin. So that everything lies nice and flat, because that's what I like. Um, so yeah, with this one I've done that as well, which is why, ta-da! <laughs> um, and that is why it's sticking out a little bit here because basically I broke this part in just a little uh, so it can start to bloom um, when I'm using it uh, yeah this was the delivery guy that pushed it into my mailbox so yeah that's why I'm using this one I've got a red one as well and the only thing that I've done in this, except for breaking the spine, is a fifth page. Because I wanted to see, you know, it's different paper than this one. This one takes uh, gouache, fountain pen, normal ballpoint pen, um, and colored pencils beautifully. It's more of a rougher paper. I'm not sure if it's going to be visible or not, but... It is a bit more of a rougher paper, uh, which means that the pencils adhere to it very nicely, while this one is more silky. It feels more silky, let's put it that way, well, at least for me. Um, and it's a bit more see-through than the previous book, uh, because if you look at this and this there's only like 50 pages difference ish so if you look at the spines that's not what you would tell is it this one has 50 pages more so yeah this is gonna be a an adventure I put a uh, an elastic band here because um, I have an idea on in which uh, cover to put it um, I was thinking about a leather cover, but then I didn't have any pockets to put my washi tape. I wanted to be able to bring some washi tape with me. So what I have decided um, is instead of a leather cover, because the leather cover that I have does not have any pockets or whatever, I'm going to use this one. Uh, I'll have to look it up on my Amazon to see what thing it was, what it's, what it's called. It's basically like a folio. So, open it up and ta-da! So, I have of course tested it out already because I wanted to make sure, and there's normally like a little strap on this as well, which I'm not using. Um, what I've basically been thinking 
Um, not sure if people actually have seen this one. If you put your ballpoint pen here, there's a little pocket here. When you open this up, you have a pocket here, another pocket here, pockets to put in cards, secretarial pocket, is that what they call this one? And then there's another pocket here. Close it, and on the back, there's also a pocket. The color of it is not really my kind of color, to be honest, but it will do. Uh, I might just, you know, stamp on it or whatever. I'm not quite sure yet because it's uh, whenever you have, you know, paint on your hands or whatever, it just it really starts to show. Um, but the idea that I had, it's going to be a little bit weird, but it works. So what I've just been thinking is putting this one here, almost to the end, but not quite. And why I have a rubber band here is because I've got a moleskin, is this moleskin kaye something something? And then a self-made booklet that I'm still going to put something on. And I was planning on putting this here. Ta -da. And I've already tested it, of course, because if I close it, it has no issues. Yay! Sorry for the noise thing. So this one I've already tested as well, and the ballpoint, uh, the fountain pen actually works better on this paper, which was kind of a surprise. I thought and hoped I could write with fountain pen in this one, but as you can, oh, I'm not sure if you can see it, I can see it, but maybe if I hold it up to the camera more. So the bottom two, two lines is on the fountain pen. So ghosting, yes, but also some bleeding, which I don't really like. I don't like I don't like bleeding stuff. Uh but there probably will be moments where I just, you know, I use fountain pen and then on the other side I will put something totally different. Um, and then there's these markers, they ghost a bit. Because it's one of the markers that I'm going to use from those colors of life binder stuff if I have some, you know, to-dos or whatever. Um, does not bleed. It's like, yay! Which one is this? And that's a big marker. Bleeds a little, but... Eh. And then these, um, I think I got that tip from Key Lime something where she tested out a, a moleskin expanded and she said that pigment ink works better on this kind of paper. So I actually tested it and uh, as soon as I go to the pigment ink, let me see this one, where is it? It can last up to pigment liner 0.4. So from 0 0.4 to 0 0.3, 0 0.2, 0 0.1, 0 0.05, those have actually no problem. They don't bleed. They ghost a little, but they don't bleed. Uh, so yeah, that pigment thing actually does work. Which is, as soon as I come, come to the 0 0.5, uh, you know, it, it starts, so 0, 05 I'm not going to use, apparently. But I think mostly I'm going to use Bopo Pen, which is what I've been doing in my other journal, this one. Um, I've been using lots of Bopo Pen, because it's apparently easier, you know, to with the, with the colors. Anyway, enough rambling. So yeah, I'm going to be setting this one up. Uh, might record it? I'm not sure. But that won't be for today. Um, then I have a book here with some, um, uh, notebook kaye thing for some collections. Because it's, I think that would be handier, uh, to have, you know, some collections that I want to keep. 
otherwise I need to constantly refer to you know one of the notebooks and yeah no that's what I was thinking and this one was to jot down some quick things because I know when I write very quick I start writing bigger this is not set in stone yet so I'm not sure if this one is going to stay or not what else oh yeah so basically what I've been doing is putting this one here putting this one there yeah right let's set that one there because these actually has the colors that I want one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I have an extra color. Okay. Oh, yeah, this is more class and this is more social. So, yeah, so this has to do with my life binder and any things that I want to work on. So, I just put a piece of washi there and, like, be like, that's what that is. This is going to be for the weeks. So, I can see where my weeks are. Um, What else was there? Was there anything else? Oh, I have a writing writing board. I made myself a. This is obviously self-made, as you can see. Uh, but this is if I do want to. Uh, I can basically put this around the whole thing, and then I can put some stuff in here if I really wanted to. That's what I uh, was thinking about when I was using a leather cover. I'm still gonna put it in here just in case. I am kind of the person with, you know, lots of just in cases. <laughs> no, I can't help myself. I'm trying to put it there ish. Go to the end, please. Thank you. There you go. And I also have a writing board. Is that what I call it? A writing board thing. So it's, you know, easier to just, you know, if I'm going to use it or not, I'm not sure yet. We'll see. And put this also there, instead of the way. Was there anything else with this one? I don't think so. I'm just checking. No. So, as soon. Yeah, I'm probably going to start on an introduction for myself on this page already. In the next couple of days. Yep, so. so let's put that away. So this is going to be the journal part. Ish. It's going to be the journaling ish part and also a bit of the planner part because there's some things that I really need to, you know, I, I want to do some a bit of a, a change in, you know, I have some things of my apartment if I really want to do my blogging stuff and YouTube stuff. I really need to have a plan. Because doing this without a plan is not working. <laughs> As you have seen from the last few months. So my idea was to have a binder, a six ring binder. This is basically... I kind of finagled this one because I didn't like how the cover looked. So this is how it normally looks. See that? With all those colors and things. and. For someone who has, uh, well, I'm not sure how it is for other people, but for me, um, I've been recent, recently diagnosed with uh, autism spectrum and ADHD, and um, I'm very sensitive to um, auditory things, to visual things. Uh, they distract me like, uh, like a squirrel that sees, oh, not. So, um, I can't, I just couldn't. This one is actually one that I'm not really using. I put, you know, extra papers in here. Oh, hi, you can see me. Hi. <laughs> so, yeah, so this one is, wow, well, you can literally see everything. It's like a mirror. Jeez. <laughs> you can see my light thing that I haven't done. You can see my camera. Anyway, so, yeah, I, I couldn't deal with that. Absolutely. Let's put that aside. So what I did is I just used some painter's tape, is that what they call it? Over here it's, you know, it's not colored, it's just... So yeah, so this is basically just painter's tape. As you can see, it's, 
it's not perfect and I, I haven't like it's not secure or whatever it's just so that I don't have to see the bloody rainbow thing constantly because it keeps distracting me uh, and then I so basically I just see the whole thing is covered and then I printed out a picture of my tiger here I what do you call that? Put plastic over it. What's the word? Can't come the word. Um, and then I used tape to actually put it on, but it's not completely on because you can probably see that it lifts up a little. I don't mind because uh, that means I can switch out the pictures. Uh, and I can use it somewhere else. If I'm like, yeah, this is not going to work, I can use it somewhere else. Uh, the inside is of course very mirror-like ish. Let's not let's not do that. Um, so what I've got for this one, mm -hmm. I've got tabs and stuff and etc. etc. But ta -da. <laughs> this is what I've got for it. So I've made my own printables for. This is gonna be like my dashboard thing where I can. Is it like a dashboard? I'm not sure. More like a tip where you are now that thing and also like a reminder but i'm gonna change this one up because this one is an old one i'm gonna change this one up um let's put this one to the side so it doesn't oh maybe no i put the notebook to the side okay put it so it doesn't put a lot of shadow let's move them over there okay um so basically I've got dividers I've made my own monthly overview for appointments but also if I do certain things I can put like a little dot or whatever in a color as habits that is what I was thinking so I printed a few of those <clears throat> Um, so yeah, I'd like my weeks to start on Monday, so I start mine on Monday. You know how this works, right? Uh, so yeah, for appointments, class, and then some, <clears throat> some habits that I want to, you know, with some color. That was my idea. I've printed a few of those. Uh, how many did I print? Three, I guess. Yeah, printed three. Well, actually, four. For four months, there's a reason why I only printed that much, and then I printed enough weeks. I'll reveal I printed enough weeks to last me also about three and a half months. Uh, this, I could if I want to, I can cut this off and I could put it into the moleskin. It's you know the right size to actually fit into the moleskin if I want to do it. Um, so why do I have a weekly overview? Uh, so I can actually see where my time is going. Because I lose time with, you know, doing research and stuff like that. And suddenly, you know, three hours have passed. And I'm like, um, what did I do? Why didn't, why wasn't I more productive today? Or I feel like I haven't done anything productive. So I can actually use, you know, some of my time, my time slot starts from seven to eleven. And by 11, I would like to be in bed, which is one of my goals, because my sleep pattern is ridiculous. Anyway, so so that's why I made this. And I, if I want to, I can put notes here, or I can chop it off and put it into the moleskin. Yay. So I've got enough to last me three months. And I've actually used... Uh, not on this one, yeah, on this one as well. Just used some, you know, random paper I still had left. Put some holes in there. Ta-da! <laughs> uh, then I have a divider where I can put something cute or whatever in there. This is next six months for life. It's from uh, Sarah Cannon. It's free. Uh, I will put a link to her channel and stuff like that. She has the Sarah Cannon, you know, like authory things, you know, author writing stuff. But then she also has hard readings. Um, this one is uh, from the Sarah Cannon one. 
six months for life so basically um she explain she's gonna explain it much better than i can but basically you know it's more like a focus on like one goal or one area that you want to improve on um and it's free so i was like mm -hmm. so i printed it out this was printed out yesterday by the way so i haven't got a chance to fill it in yet uh which i'm probably i'm not sure if i'm going to because then then i can reuse it um so those notes will go into the Moleskin. um but yeah six months for life uh it's basically about you know productivity but in a way that takes into account you know your own limitations uh your spoons etc so yes so if you want to do stuff like that mm -hmm. then we have another thingy another thingy we got some notes pages because who doesn't want to note pages next uh, we have 22 journal prompts for reconnecting to self from Susanna Conway which is also free uh oh yeah this is the return one with the prompts and then I also have the how to be kinder also from Susanna Conway uh also free and with this one and uh, printer also had a fit but it started to come a little bit more close together I mean see I think you can see it there's look there's little stripes that you like it's like the ink wasn't really wanting to uh but anyway that's that i have the year compass uh my other year compass is in my spiritual uh binder um that one is actually filled in uh i printed the one off from 22 to 23 i think uh to i don't know like october november there's a new version available, also free, by the way. So, yeah, which is also, you know, thinking a bit about, you know, about the last year, like a review, but also like a plan for the year ahead. I've got some extra papers. Not sure I'm going to need that many, but... And then I have some... These are free. These are from Sarah Renee Clark uh where our printer was still having a fit uh, so yeah i've got some of those printed out yep these were from Halloween and what for Halloween they're from Sarah Renee I mean aren't these adorable no so yeah. uh so yeah and then there's also the aloe vera the plant printable thing so I bought those and I, you know, I could just print them whenever I want to. Um, oh, and here I've got, this is from Halloween. I've got some, you know, pretty things to, you know, to put in the front. Uh, this is the uh, motherhood thing. Ways to love yourself. Guidelines for self-love. And then another one. This was from Gift Back of Life book, I think. Anyway. And that's... Oh, no, that, that wasn't it. I thought that was it. No, it was not it. There's the uh, family manifesto. It's really... That was really pretty. Learning, courage, kindness, mindfulness, empathy, and hard work. Uh, something from Instagram that I found. But I, from Crazy... Crazy Head Comics. Things I'm learning from Reach Out to Recovery, the green flags of relationships, and does it say from who? No, it doesn't say. It's not on there. Why isn't it on there? Hmm. And then last but not least is self, self love September checklist. By uh -huh. I can't read that. It's too small. I have to uh, check the original age, original image because I can't see. Sugar pop fizz and something. Uh, we'll have to look it up. 
it basically it's self objective is because uh, it's sometimes it's very hard to make sure that you know that you take good care of yourself in all different ways and that was the last one so this will be going in here um thinking should i drop an outreach that's the best way So basically it's going to be this thing. It does jump off but it doesn't come off so yay. So yeah I've got my own moon tiger binder together with this one. It is just mm, it's just small enough that I can still fit it into one of my bags into my smallest bag because basically this is gonna be you know the stuff that I do for everything in my life hmm. Hmm, yeah I have ideas already running in my head on uh, things that I want to, you know, things that belong normally to the YouTube or uh, blog stuff to put it in here in a separate category mm -hmm. and the life binder stuff, well, basically um, will also go in here yes, will also go in here so I think I have on my channel I do have a YouTube, I think it was a stream where I explained a little bit about uh, my life binder, but that was when I was still using a huge binder. Um, so yeah, it went from a huge binder to this. And then from there, hopefully I can put it into here with everything else, which does mean that I might have to copy some things over. Because, yeah, yeah, I have, I'll have to copy some things over because the rings on the other planner are not the same as the rings here. But yeah, those two things, well, basically, this is my, it's not really my all-in-one, but, you know what I mean, a binder and a folio, is that what, is that what this is called, a folio? I can even put my cell phone in there, I can put my pen here, this is what I'm going to use to get a grip on all the lingering thoughts and, and brain gremlins um, that distract me from everything. So yeah, let me put this more. Maybe I should put it like this way. Is this pretty like this? I have no idea. So yeah, basically that's it. And now that I made the video of actually what my system is going to consist of, of 
I can start finally using it. Yay! <laughs> uh, which is gonna... I might film pieces of it, but doing a play-by-play, -play, it's, it's just going to be too long, so I might just, you know, take some clips and, and put it, like, together or something, or, like, maybe a little shorts or whatever. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do that. And there's a cat here. So yeah, that's it. Trying to get my uh, behind in the right place of my life again. And um, yeah, I hope that, you know, if you do have something like... Um, how should I explain this? If you have something like, you know, there's something not quite right. I feel like I'm behind. Um, there's, you know, there's no one, you know, is going to say, well, you can't, you know, choose no system whenever you want to. I mean, it's your stuff, so you can do with it what you want. Want to use it, don't want to use it, want to switch it up, just do it. It's, you know, it's what I did. Um, so, yeah. I will uh, also use uh, a, what I normally do with a journal is also write a goodbye uh a little bit of a little bit of, of a review kind of ish of the journal but also you know where i came from when i started this journal throughout the year because this this one is a is a spanned a year and sometimes i wrote little sometimes big depending on my mood different colors etc so it's yeah it's it's life companion, <laughs> basically. So these are going these are going to be my life companion in two parts. <laughs> Put it that way. Um so yeah, that was that. What an update on things and take good care of yourself. Because you know, you only have one body, one mind with the life that you're given here. Take good care of yourself. Alright? I'll see you in the next one. Bye!